How are you folks? Make sure we're working, yep. Yeah, hello everyone. Welcome to this Monday's stream. I hope everybody's had a nice weekend. Thanks to those of you that have stopped by in chat already. Good to see you all. And thank you, Sefi Roth. I've just read your message there. I'm glad that the triple triad stuff helped you. Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with manipulating the RNG sequences in Final Fantasy VIII, but also across some of the other Final Fantasy games as well. Yeah, you can really brute force your way to victory, so to speak. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, greetings, everybody else that's in chat as well. I can see a few people stopping by to say hello. Yeah, the music for the pre-stream stuff is credited in the description if you want to go and check it out. Yeah, some pretty cool fantasy tracks that have been stuck in there. Yeah, morning, Nathaniel, and Red as well. And Elijah, good day to you. I mean, it's actually afternoon where I am. It's just gone 2.30pm here in the UK. But I know a lot of you are watching from over in uh, in America and stuff, aren't you? So, yeah. It would be morning for you guys, I imagine. Hello, Trink. How are you doing? Yeah, best of luck for grinding. <laughs> a lot of grinding to do in this game, especially when you want to get the various trophies and stuff, which, of course, I do. Oh, you're actually talking to Red Mario. I see. He was talking about Final Fantasy IV. Yeah, always the problem when I come into the conversation, you know, halfway through it. I don't have the context. Uh, but that's my fault. So, yeah, there's grinding in every Final Fantasy game, for sure. Hello, Thomas. How are you doing? And Carlos and Egan as well. Yeah, welcome to the stream, guys. Here on this beautiful Monday morning. A little bit chilly, actually, here in the UK. But it's winter, so what can you expect? I think we should be good to go now, though. Okay, a few people have stopped by, and others can join us if they want to, I'm sure. Okay, right. First thing I want to point out is that here, well, at least going into this next area now, as we move along the next high road, we are going to encounter a creature known as the Basilisk. And as you probably guessed, it can petrify us. However, there are various items that guard against being petrified. Unfortunately, I don't yet have them. However, I believe we can get one soon. Now, the problem with being petrified in this particular game is... Well, actually, this is pretty much universal across the franchise as a whole. Is that if you get your entire party under the status of petri uh, petrification, then, yeah, it's game over. So, just want to make sure as well that I've got some soft items. I should have, really. But I'll just check. Yeah, very good, thanks, Dark. Very good. How are you doing, mate? You've been making some good progress. I've got three. Might not be enough. Uh, good progress on the Dark Aeons, haven't you? I've noticed. I've been trying to catch up on your videos when I've been able to. A swift retreat. Satisfied? Ah, so it's night time where you are then, Trinquisitor. Those who turn from Yeah, we get all time zones around here, don't we? While the faithful live on. Every variety. The past ten years have changed you, I see. Yeah, thanks for the tip, Elijah. I'm actually going to do that because I'm not going to be grinding much until we get Riku anyhow. So it kind of makes sense that I'm just going to keep one party active rather than having to keep swapping party members, if that makes sense. Roy Madone, hello, how are you? Thanks for joining us on the stream. We do also have our... I think it's, yeah, our next trial's coming up. Our next Cloister of Trials. So I've got some notes up and about for getting me through that without causing too much pain for you guys. I understand. Are you afraid? Yeah, Triple Triad. I've got to say, Sefi Roth, it's one of my favourite Final Fantasy mini games. He really is. Not just from FF8. It was probably one of the high points of Final Fantasy VIII, if I'm honest with you. But over the franchise as a whole, it's quite possibly my number Maybe one mini game. Until next we meet. Farewell. The one thing that sort of makes Triple Triad an annoying side quest slash mini game is the way that rules spread over the world. The actual core mechanics are a lot of fun. So once you've sort of got a hang of manipulating the RNG so you can get the rules where you want them, 
then the game's just fantastic. It really is in many ways. That's brilliant, Dark. You've worked so hard on that, mate. Well done. Well done. Hello, Levi. How are you doing? Just check around for any chests. Though I don't think there's any chests until we move into the next area. Oh, I should just sort out our party before we go any further. So, I will look at overdrives as well. I've not looked at them for a while. I'm thinking Yuna and Waka. For, or actually, maybe Lulu for now. Oh, one thing I did do. I didn't do any grinding since the last stream. But literally, as on Friday I closed the stream, I just went to the Sphere Grid. And I taught Lulu her first set of level 2 magics. Okay? So, she's got the Fire and Thunder... Or level 2 forms of those. So, I didn't do any grinding. I already had the sphere levels to uh, to learn them. I just went ahead and did so. So, we should be able to get water and blizzard soon. Yeah, no, that's right. Hopefully. We did struggle a little bit on the sin spawn boss previously. Because I'd escaped a lot of battles. And that thing has a lot of health. But we got through it. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yes. We'll grab that then. I thought the chest was in the next area. Crikey, the memories that you guys have for this game is insane. Although I expect nothing less from our chat. You guys are phenomenal when it comes to the Final Sin Fantasy stuff. Is checked. Yeah. For a while there. I thought I could feel him. Yeah, Blitzball is a lot of fun as well. That doesn't mean I believe you. I've actually done everything I need to do in terms Sin of Blitzball for the moment. He came I probably won't do much more until we get access to the so airship. all those people just for a chance to see me? That's what Sin does. He wanted to show that to you. Do you know why? How am I supposed to know? Oh, that's so awesome. Kill him. Smoke. Smoker? Smoker, yeah? As long as he is Sin. Yeah, I can see the chest look. Keep killing. He wants you to stop him. Yeah, nice job on getting you through though. Kidding. How do you know all of this anyway? Yeah, cheers, Doc. <laughs> yeah, that's the basilisk. And the Albed Primer, which is near a pillar. Now, I'm not done talking to you. Yeah, I've Don't got I've away. got all that prepared, so You're hopefully I shouldn't miss that stuff. Yeah, yeah, definitely red. You're right up there with the uh, final fantasy knowledge for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, I know that we can speak to some NPCs, but not these ones. I believe that one of them is going to give us an accessory as well, which will help us to guard against stone, which, as I mentioned, is quite useful. Hey, great minds think alike, eh, Russell? As they say. Ah, we can get free healing here. Although we also have the save points as well, which does the same thing. Okay, I'm not going to buy anything from Awaka. But I'll have a look just to see if there's... Mind you, we could get some softs. We've only got three. And they're not that expensive. I do want to save some gill, though, for later. I'm just going to go for seven for now. I guess the summoners are... So. Oh, that's interesting, uh, Roach. 20 petrified grenades to add the ability stoneproof for when we are crafting later. Interesting. Oh, one of us has got a weapon. I think it's Waka. I just need to check. That can do instant petrify. And it's going to come in useful, I suspect. Hurry up. She's awfully cheerful. Yeah, the only blitz ball I did was the first tournament. So that we could get the attack reels for Waka. It's nice to get those early, I find. Times she must but apart from that, you know, I'm not in any rush to do any of the other games now huh? until later on. Now are dark times. Uh, you know, uh, Waka's other stuff, like the Auroch reels and... Uh, what is it? The status reels? Worry, yeah. They don't hard. unlock for the Blitzball you stuff anyway try. until we've done a whole bunch of battles. So there's really no rush. Worry, Hello, Scott. How are you doing? 
Yeah, the playthrough's going good. We're making progress anyway. Smile, let me see. Yes, Lee. Yes, we've just done all that stuff. Sad. Previous stream, so we're back on the next high road now. Right, okay. There is an Albed primer that we want to pick up around these parts. The thing with the primers is you sort of have to keep your eyes peeled because they, 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 they just sort of blend into the surroundings. If you know they're there, you can find them quite easily. But if you forget that you like searching for them, then you can easily miss them. And this one, I think it's after the chest up here. Oh, I do need to bring Kimari in just momentarily. So that we can learn the next blue magic here. And what are we targeting? There we go. Yeah, Stone Breath. Yeah, we're going to talk to absolutely everybody. I believe we can get a nice ring as well from one of them. Uh, I don't think these are weak to it. Oh, they're weak to Blizzard. Okay, makes sense. They're kind of like that sort of colour, aren't they? Now, this isn't what we like. Ah, miss. That is what we like. Let's bring Tidus back. Ah, uh, lots of HP. Let's go for extractability. I feel like we are running low on those. Uh, they're not actually weak to any elements, so uh, we just need to make sure we don't cast thunder. Oh, let's just go for an overdrive. I'm going to just keep spamming overdrives as much as possible, really. Oh, I flipping screwed it up. Oh, I completely messed that up. Not to my, uh, not to my rhythm then. Okay. <laughs> oh, good job, Scott. Glad to hear that. Yes, uh, we had a COVID in our household a couple of months ago. We all got through it quite smoothly, which we're very grateful for. Uh, yeah, I'm not... I keep meaning to check equipment, because I want to see who's got stoneproof. But I think it's Waka. I do need to check that, though. I also want to check what T does limit break or overdrive is set to. We need all one to kill this thing, really. You don't really need Ribbon when you can have Riku use the final elixir and have auto life. Okay, yes, because Ribbon, I suppose, as always, is quite a challenge to to gather, isn't it? Farewell. Although you can get it quite frequently later on. Is it from the Dark Aeons? They drop stuff with Ribbon, do they? I would imagine. It's been a while since I've being at the end of this game, so I haven't reminded myself of it yet, since I'm not going to be there for a while again. Uh, right. Okay, let me just check a few things before we move on here. I want to see, first of all, who's got the stone... Somebody had a stone weapon, I'm sure of it. Um, yes. Stone touch, that's it. We just didn't have it equipped. Yeah, thanks, Elijah. I thought it was Waka. I just forgot we hadn't equipped it yet. Right, okay. Okay, we're using Warrior. Do you think that's a good one to use right now? Charges when character damages an enemy, or should we just use Stoic? I think we'll just use Stoic, to be honest with you. Because there's, like, quite a few enemies that can spawn per battle, I think we're more likely to take multiple damage per round than we are to... To attack one time per round. Maybe. We'll see. Okay, let's see how this goes. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of the greats, isn't it? Legacy, for sure. Right, so there's the two Phoenix down. Somewhere around here is the...
thing I want to nab, the language thing. Holly, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the super chat. And you're very welcome. Uh, yeah, Waka's going to be our friend here. Okay, get that overdrive built up there. I mean, I think these are one shot mostly anyway. Yeah, but if not, we've got the stone touch weapon. Yeah, stoic. Cheers featured. I think it's going to work out better early on, isn't it? I know that Tidus isn't going to do much damage to these guys, but eh, we did it. Slayer. That's when we kill an enemy, isn't it? Do we get a big boost to overdrive for that? Not sure. I'll just keep it on stoic for now. Uh, right, let's go ahead and heal up. Yeah, where is that? There it is. Yeah, I knew that one was hidden. Okay, just behind this pillar. Albed Primer, Volume 11. Oh, by the way, I should mention, I don't know if we'll make it today, but we are getting ever so closer to the Thunder Plains. But one thing I would say is that I'm not going to be going for the 200 Lightning Dodge just yet because I much prefer to wait until we have a piece of armor with no encounters ability on it. Otherwise, we'll just keep getting knocked into combat, which is a real nuisance when you're trying to count how many Lightning Dodges you're doing and stuff. So I won't be skipping that, not only because we want Lulu's uh, ultimate weapon, Celestial Weapon, but also because we want to get the Platinum Trophy, we need to do it. But I just won't be doing it yet. Right, okay. I wonder if this is going to work. Oh, it did! Nice! Nice! That Stone Touch Weapon is, like, really powerful. I do like it. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is a Fire Weak enemy, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Slayer is worth equipping, a few people are saying. Gives half a bar. Okay, right. Maybe we shall do exactly that then. We'll just have to kill a few enemies though, which is probably not going to happen all that often since Waka has the stone touch, but we'll see how it goes. It might work. Oh, I haven't spoken to the people and we need to do that. As one of them in particular gives us a nice item. Not that one. Yes, that's the one. Soft ring. Yeah, that's useful since obviously it guards against, um, well, stuff, quite frankly, that is in this area like stone, petrification. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to bother. It's not like Yuna's going to be in battle all that much. Right, okay. What I'm thinking is we... Is this guy probably immune to stone, isn't it? Yeah, it's immune, unfortunately. Doesn't surprise me. Oh, I should have done that on the other one because we've already weakened that one. That was a bit of a waste. Hey, Unicorn, thank you so much for the five bucks. Currently playing through Final Fantasy XII. Yeah, I'm glad that's helping. That's a... Uh, Quite a big series, that is. It's a lot of fun to make. So, yeah, I'm glad you're liking that one. It's worth noting that if a party member gets turned to stone as well, that they won't actually gain any rewards from combat. So, that's why it's worth throwing a soft on them before the end of the battle. Yeah, you don't want to be deceived. These things have quite a bit of HP. It's kind of annoying. Oh, I'm not sure if it does, actually. If you can use stones. Maybe you can. Yeah, maybe you can. Because as long as you defeat enemies, you should be... You should be good, shouldn't you? I'm sure it might help. <laughs> I'm sure it might help. Bit of a contradictory sentence there, but... Maybe somebody in chat will know for certain. Oh, 
are still not dead. Now it is. Okay. Probably should have done that with Tidus, so we can build up his overdrive. I forgot we had it set to Slayer. Yeah, so the plan is to talk to everybody. Uh, did I miss anybody, by the way, guys? Is there anybody I haven't spoken to? I mean, we're not in any rush. We can just pop back and have a, have a nosy, can't we? Uh, I don't know whether just to flee from this. Oh, dear, dear, dear. I think we're going to otherwise be using quite a bit of soft action. And I haven't got that many. Uh, I'm thinking I might just escape. Let me get back to Tidus. Like I say, I'm not exactly farming right now, so... Getting stuck in a, a lengthy battle that's going to deplete our soft supply isn't exactly appealing at the moment. Okay, I don't think we spoke to this person, but they have nothing for us. There's still a couple more items we can grab. I want to try and get some kills on Tidus if we can. So that we can build up his overdrive. Oh, you can use stone such for monster capturing. Well, thanks for the clarification there, Pick. And hello, J-Man. How you doing? Oh, wrong one. Hey, Unicorn. Thank you so much for the second super chat. That's really kind of you. You're currently at the beginning of the guide. Uh, do you take the player through years, Matt, and the judges? I know those are really rough. Yes, I tell you what, with the Final Fantasy XII guide, we do absolutely everything there is to do in that game. We get the Platinum Trophy and beyond, really. So. Uh, I don't really want to kill this guy with Lulu, but it would be tedious to get sent to sleep, wouldn't it? Uh, I might bring Yuna in just to heal up. Oh, he's teed us back now. Yeah, he is. Okay, we should be able to kill this guy now. And get some overdrive action. Yeah, I'm just going to pop back to see if there's anybody else that I haven't spoken to. There's quite a bit of AP on this area. Or from this area, actually. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to farm, though. Not until we get all our party completed. Uh, Tisoy, hello, how are you? Yeah, sorry guys, I'll probably completely butcher the pronunciation of many of your names. But, you know, it wouldn't be a fuzz stream, would it, if I got everything right? Hi, Dennis. Yeah, I was trying to target Tidus with Lulu, and I couldn't do it, Moosey. Tried as I may, it just wasn't working. Yeah, how are you in Canada, Dennis? Great to have you here again. Oh, I might. Yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, wow, these things hurt. A lot. Yeah, no, it's a good tip. Thanks, Moosey. Thank you very much. Uh-oh. If that thing does fire again, probably going to get killed. Yeah, the enemies around here are pretty nasty. They just, like, deplete your HP so quickly, don't they? They really, really do. Uh, Tidus is going... Oh, no, he's not. He's asleep. I'll tell you what, I think we need to kill this thing. I know it's kind of annoying, but I would prefer T just to do it so he can fill up his overdrive, but it's going to cast fire next, I'm sure of it. Oh, he's dead anyway. It's the poison. The poison that's killing us. That. 
Uh, where'd you get that from, Annika? I don't think I've got it yet. Is it from this area, is it? Is it the bright bangle? If so, I haven't reached that just yet. Uh, you know, cure. Yeah, it's pollen, isn't it, causing the poison? Oh, didn't need to do that. Let's save again. We've gained some SP, which I'd rather not lose if we somehow got a game over. Hey, Pig, thanks for the sub. Okay, here we go again. Let's try and kill these ones, shall we? Since we're by these save points anyway. So if we use uh, fiber, I don't think slots. Uh, maybe elemental reels. Now nah, just use attack reels. Try and All right, you ask for it. try and get this a little bit more accurate than I did before. Almost. It takes me a little bit every time I start a new game just to just to get the practice on that. And then eventually I'll do it every time. Thank you so much, Holly. Yeah, if you've unlocked the extract ability, is it, on the sphere grid? Then that helps to get the ability spheres. I have actually been doing that. Yeah, I have unlocked it and I have got quite a few ability spheres already now. So, it's a good tip though. Worth pointing out. Thanks for that. Oh, for flip's sake, I'm going to have to buy more of these. Since we're so close to the entrance, I might actually go back and get some more soft. Or oh, we're going to be here for a while. When we run out and everybody's getting turned to stone. Uh, there we go. This might finish this one off. Not quite. It's a shame that they're immune to the stone touch, actually, isn't it? I <laughs> don't know about that, Moose. I've had my fair few in my time, trust me. <laughs> yeah, if... Uh, if we just do normal attack or skip out on Lulu, I want to try and... Finish up if I can with T Dust to get his overdrive field. But apparently not. Kate Sith wants the kill. Um Final Fantasy 12 definitely has some really challenging trophies. But I think Final Fantasy 10 is more annoying than Final Fantasy 12. There's just a couple of trophies on 10 that are just going to mean spending a lot more time with the game. Uh, let's just go ahead and buy 20 or so. Does you not have a sooner? I'll have to check actually, but no, that's a good point. You can use a sooner. I'll have to see if I've learned it. Oh, please, none of this stupid pollen. And everybody's gone to sleep. Wonderful. Oh, but two are back awake again. I'm not really a tea snob, Holly, if I'm honest with you. I'll just have the traditional English breakfast and be done with it. Like, I do like Yorkshire tea. Well, actually, I did like Yorkshire tea. But since they've changed their actual tea bags, I don't like the taste of the tea now. So, I usually just go for the supermarket brand. In all honesty, I find it just tastes how I like it. But I'll, I'll tell you what I will drink, though. Um, I will drink Earl Grey. I do like Earl Grey. I can't have it often, though, because nobody else in the house likes it. And the smell sort of makes everyone feel sick. I think we got close to 25, Elijah. I'm not sure if you did that before or after. Yeah, the only reason I'm not using fire on the plants is because I'm trying to get kills with Tidus. It's just annoying because that plant tends to spawn with other creatures that Tidus just is terrible against. So it's like the only option. 
Yeah, it is grindy, Seth. It is grindy. Oh, that's more like it. Lovely. Uh, I can actually... Oh, no, I'll do it on this thing. I think we might be able to stone it. Yep. And then Lulu can finish this one off. Well, a normal fire spell do save some MP. Yep. We don't get the overkill, but that's fine. Yeah, I think we've spoken to everybody now. At least up until the point that we got to, anyway. Okay, we're just going to overdrive because we sort of need to do it often. Uh, it does. Oh, come on. I messed that up. Oh, well. Not that it matters. Oh, it didn't work. I think it's... Is it like... What's the percentage of the status weapons actually working? Because it ain't 100%. Let's try it again. Yeah, it worked that time. It seems quite high. Is it like maybe 80% or so? Yeah, I think the jump rope trophy from Final Fantasy IX is quite possibly the most annoying trophy in Final Fantasy history. It really is nasty. It really is. Ah, didn't one-shot it this time. Ah. Yes, that's true, Wes. Although even the script does take a little bit of time to set up, which is kind of annoying. But yeah, you're right. Uh, I might have to get all on in to take care of this. If the stone touch isn't going to do the job, it should do. It should do. There we go. Uh, Lulu's Overdrive. Yeah, it should do. I haven't tried it. I don't... Oh, I have tried it on the previous stream when it was against a boss. And it worked okay. So, I'm not sure why it's not doing it for you, Cronus Gaming. Oh, 50%. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you for that clarity. Yeah, I think if we just get all on in, take care of that thing then. Uh, just need to finish that off. There we go. Enough. No time to waste. Let's go. Oh, rice. Right. Yeah, that does ring a bell, Overman. Ah, I see. So, yeah, Stone Touch is like the weak version of Stone Strike. Gotcha. Ah, oh, that makes sense. I believe there's another chest around here as well. Um, I need Waka back now. Okay, Elijah. Just keep spamming the highest level fires then. I need to practice attack reels because I've been sucking with it a bit lately. Why? <sighs> oh, it's behind us, the chest. Thanks, Elijah. It's one that's kind of hidden, isn't it? Off to the side. 
I thought it was up a little bit more. Oop, that did not mean to want to speak to you again. Is it over on the other side, I think, isn't it? Yeah, one thing I would like is uh, the turbo mode from the PC version. That would be lovely if they patched that into the PS4 version. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just looking forward to like hearing some news about it, really. I know this is not a great thing to use in this enemy, but I want to keep using Tidus' Limit Break. And what do you know? It is enough. Ah, slice and dice. Yeah, but I'm very intrigued where Square are going to go with Final Fantasy VII Remake after finishing part one. And I liked the little teaser at the end of Intergrade. There's the chest. Right, is that the thing for uh, Lulu? Oh, it's just Dark Ward. Somebody mentioned about 20% HP. I thought that might have been it, but... Well, Dark Ward's better than nothing. Yeah, cheers. Yeah. Yeah, it's the problem with those turbo things, isn't it? Once you get used to them, it's very hard to... To not use them then. It really is. Oh, you know what? Let's get some abilities. Ability spheres. Uh, I haven't got Blizzard Bar yet. That's what I was looking for then. Is it 30, is it? Yeah, we'll have to keep spamming that then, Elijah, won't we, like you say? No, I haven't done any of the Pixel Remastered games, Cletus, if I'm honest. I am looking forward to being able to get into them, though. I don't know which one to start with. I might just go through them in order. I don't know if I'll be streaming them. But I'd certainly want to play them. Yeah, I might just start with Final Fantasy 1, which I've never played before. In any form. And then just work through them. Have you played any of them then, Wes? Oh yeah, I need to check if Yuna has a sooner. Yeah, thanks for the reminder on that. We'll do that after this battle. Hello, Isaiah. How are you doing? Good weekend? Uh, say that again, Scott. You let the reels counter run out, it will always land on the next two. What, you mean if you get two hit on the first reels, and then just let the other two do themselves? It... that sort of thing rings a bell for my last playthrough. I need to try it. Because if I'm understanding what you mean correctly, then that would be a really nice little thing. Ah, uh, yeah. No, I understand, Isaiah. I understand. Uh, No, let's go to... No, go away. Uh, Una. What have I learned? Pray. This is all your white magic stuff. Oh, yeah, we have got a Suna. We got that quite early on by the looks of it. Yeah, we have got a Suna with Yuna. So that's pretty helpful for removing the uh, status effects. And it does work on Petrify as well. But I think we grabbed all the items. Still a ways. First down the moon flow to the Guado city of Guado Salam. Then we cross the Thunder Plains to the temple of Makalania. Oh. Oh, okay, Wes. 
And before that, we what would you say was your favourite? Yeah, Monday already, Mr. Punful. Time does fly. I can't believe it's so close to Christmas. I really can't. I have to pray to the faith in every temple in order to earn the final Aeon. Yeah, we've actually got Slice and Dice now as well, which is a nice thing. All just to get ready for the final summoning. Hmm. Must be tough, Yuna. I'll be fine. They did release some of them, I think, red as like a package when they first came out, but I didn't get them. I'm not sure if that offer's still available. Oh, I see what you mean, the bundle, yeah. Yeah, we don't need hey, to go new guy. up Me? there yet. Who else? What can I do for you, boss? Don't tell Yuna you know about Sin and Jet. I've got Yuna, very little, if any, familiarity with Final Fantasy Tactics, Nathaniel. We do not so, if I'm honest, I'm not sure if I'd be the person to go to to, like, watch a walkthrough for yeah, on that game. Even if I did say something, no one believed me, you know? Yuna would. Ah, you have a point. Come to think of it, did I really have to know about Jekt? Or okay, Scott. Okay, thanks for that. You finding out at a critical moment. Yeah, that could be helpful be because it's the last one that tends what? to be the most challenging, me? isn't it? Emotional? <laughs> I heard you were quite the crybaby. Yeah, Final yeah. Fantasy 3 is a lot of fun. A kid. Is Final <laughs> Fantasy 3 the one where the now. party members had just a little? Hey. Like, no I names. By your story, you hear? Or their own stories in the original, but then in the 3D DS version, they were all given backstories and names and stuff. And then the Pixel Remaster is back to the original. I think that's number three, isn't it? Whoa. Oh, okay. Yeah, so with Tidus, I've got Spiral Cut and uh, Slice and Dice right now. Slice and Dice is a good one, isn't it? Should we just spend a few Sphere points? No, let's just wait for the save point. I'll usually do that. Not far off. Yuna, it is good to see you and your companions are well. Yourselves as well, Captain. We were worried. Praise be to Yevon. <sighs> We escaped with our lives. Yeah, Without Final Fantasy VI is a great one, Wes. I did play the... I think it was... The, the only time I played that game is when I played the original PS... Not the original, but the PS1 release of it. It was like part of Final Fantasy Anthology or something, if I remember. And I beat the game. It was so much fun. I think I played it. This is how long ago it was. I'm sure it was after Final Fantasy VII, but before Final Fantasy VIII. Just you now, but don't... Is that the Jose Temple? Ah, okay. Sophie Roth. Yeah, you think I'd like that then, do you? Final Fantasy Tactics. Might have to check it out. I've also heard rumours. I know a lot of you guys awesome. on the channel have spoken about uh, Final, not Final Fantasy, uh, Chrono Trigger or Chrono Cross. I get them confused. Uh, but I've heard rumours that there might be a remaster in the works the for one of them. I guess the first one. It only opens when a summoner is addressing the fate. So a lot of you that have been asking me to play those games, you know, maybe uh, not Square. Is it Square or Sony? Whoever what made them anyway. Donna. He's going to give us a good opportunity to do so in the near future. Right. In we go. Okay. Right. Let's just run through the sphere grid. We are going to be doing the trials in a few moments. There's a couple of chests I want to grab first. Isn't really that exciting on T the sphere grid. In the near future. Right, we can get the other spells with Lulu, which is nice. 
Okay, we'll talk to the kid. Oh man, I'm just thinking about having to farm the sphere grids out later. It's going to be a flipping nightmare. We've got so much we're going to have to backtrack on. When we need to unlock things and fill in empty nodes and all of that good stuff. It's going to take some efforts. But that is like going to be the worst trophy from what I understand to try and do. Okay, that'll do for now. Yeah, square. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, it's um, Legend of something or other is the Sony one that people talk about a lot. Not Legend of Ligaya. That was a game I played a long time ago. Legend of... It's completely slipped my mind. Oh, okay, Isaiah. Oh, that's interesting then. Cro and it's a Chrono Cross remaster. Gotcha. But Chrono Trigger was better. This isn't the Calm Lands Red. No, the Calm Lands comes right towards the final part of the game. That's where the monster arena is and everything you see. So. Yeah, we've got a ways off before we reach that yet. Uh, so in here, we've got the shop. So I'm just checking I'm not missing out on any important comments that you guys are sharing. Go to items and auto fix, Elijah says. Oh, Legend of Dragoon. Yeah, that's the one. People talk about that a lot. But we've never heard anything about a potential remaster. And I'd love for there to be one because so many people want me to play that. I'm trying to get that chest, but I guess we can't at the moment. Uh... Oh, you mean auto sort? I take it that's what you're referring to when you said auto fix. Right, ability spheres. Uh, I think there's another chest. Yep, yeah, there we go. Bit of guilt. Which kid is it? Luther, this kid is, here, yeah. Where is he? I found him. He was torn in half. I... That idiot. What? <laughs> what do I do now? Do you think that would be popular, would this. it, if I'm going back Sony to released a sequel to Legend of Dragoon? Funky. I know, like I say, a lot of people on this channel talk about that game. So, it wouldn't surprise me if a lot of people would be interested in that as well. Yeah, it gets a lot of praise. It's one of those games that I've just not played, but kind of regret not playing. So, yeah, if Sony ever do a, a re-release of it, I would definitely check it out. Ah, right, Isaiah, yeah. Yeah, because it was a PS1 game originally, wasn't it? And then they released it on... Was it backwards compatibility for PlayStation 3? Or was it PlayStation Now or something? So you're a champion of Yevon Now, Brasco. I've heard as well that Sony are going to be doing their own version of Game Pass. Which would be awesome if they do it, because I'll tell you what. I beg your pardon. The uh, Xbox Game Pass and Game Pass for PC the is, I think it's a great feature that Microsoft do, and I would love for Sony to do something similar. 
You have the look of your father. My father? You knew him? No. I yeah, I did talk to that. the kid, didn't I, Elijah? Was that not the My kid? Apologies. Whoever I spoke to. I am Isaru. I am a summoner. Like you. I'm oh, okay, Funky. Nice to meet you. And I'm Moroda. I'm guarding my big brother here. Oh, why do you say that, Since DMR? Child, Is it because you think it could I've be too much work or something Lord for Sony? I wished I would someday become a high summoner. It'd be nice if they do. You must have some of your father's talent in you. I believe you might someday defeat Sin. I... I'm not really. I've only just become a summoner. Of course, I've no intention of losing either. Yeah. So perhaps we should race to see who can defeat Sin first, no? I didn't even realise that, Sophie oh. Roth. Very well then. I accept your challenge. Isaru! Yuna, I beg your leave. Good luck to both of us. Yes. Yeah, that's interesting. Since uh, they're, they're kind of like very different characters, aren't they? Okay, I'm just going to pop back out again. There's a couple, actually, there's a couple of chests, I think, we can grab around these rooms. I just want to make sure I spoke to everybody outside. Before we uh, move on. I have actually got a PlayStation 3, but before it's all like packed up at the moment, upstairs in the loft, before I got rid of it or put it away, I don't think it was working properly. It kept shutting down and overheating, so I might need to get the leaf blower out and blast the dust out of it. Maybe that'll get it working again. But I can see the chest. My ugly mug was hiding it. There we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they do, don't they, Holly? Yeah, we're we'll going to save before actually taking on the trials themselves. I need to bring my notes up. I've got them saved somewhere. This little fella's finally come. I've been thinking about the future. I would pray for those, but how? Yeah, I think I've spoken to absolutely everybody. Okay, let's save up, shall we? Alright, oh, who's uh, Sephiroth's voice actor playing in FF10 too? Yeah, I'll grab the chests, Elijah. I'll grab the chest out of each room. Okay, I don't know if you saw that bit or not. But I've definitely got all the chests. Uh, I think so, yes, Unicorn. I think the judges are arguably the hardest super boss in Final Fantasy. At least in the main, sh you know, the main games and that. Not including the MMOs and stuff. But, yeah, the hardest super boss. The thing that makes them even harder... And that really perhaps tips them over the edge is the fact that you have to fight tough battles before them and you have to actually enter their fight in a reasonable state or you just get destroyed within a few seconds especially if you've got reverse active and things of that nature from i think it's the amiga fight before or omega as my american friends might call it but Getting into that fight in good enough condition to actually, you know, survive the first few seconds is one of the biggest challenges, it really is. Right, anyway. There's one more chest. Go to the left. In this room here. You mean, the left room. Um, there's the chest over here which I grabbed. Oh, before the room. Okay, this is where the YouTube delay does not help us at all. 
I thought I'd got all the chests. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, right, there. I'm such an idiot. Thank you, Elijah. <laughs> it's only an ether, but yeah, I'm blind. Thank you for that. It sort of like blends into the background. <laughs> Cheers, dude. Yeah, yeah, that was mentioned, uh, I think, on the previous stream. Is that you, Funky, that said that? Yeah, I've not, I've not experienced Final Fantasy 1, so you're right, I can't really compare the entire Final Franchise's collection of super bosses. Yeah, cheers, Dennis. And Seth, thanks, everyone. Yeah, bit of YouTube delay, but I did grab that chest. Me? You are Yuna's guardian, no? Right, let me just bring up my notes for the cloister here. Otherwise, uh, we could end up having a bit of a an annoying time on stream. Seems that summoners have been going out on pilgrimage and just disappeared. Have you played any of the Final Fantasy games, Sasha? Because if you have and you've enjoyed them, I'd say there's fun to be had for sure with Final Fantasy X. It does things quite a bit differently. Watch. But I actually really enjoy it. I love the turn-based combat. And I actually enjoy the sphere grid progression as well. Uh, it doesn't have the best voice acting. It is the first Final Fantasy game that has voice acting. And so, uh, you know, it wasn't the uh, the best the best in that department. But as long as that doesn't put you off, then I think you'll have a good time with it. Passe! Oh uh, yeah, the Great Crystal is arguably right the worst dungeon in the Final Fantasy franchise, apart from maybe the dungeon in Final Fantasy XV. Kind of what it's called, Pityos or something. Which I don't think I ever completed that, and I did complete the Great Crystal, so... Yeah, just to clarify guys, I got the chest there, look. So, thanks for sharing about that. I wonder if I can go back and save. I know it's annoying having to backtrack, but if I mess the Cloister of Trials up, then at least we can reload without having to progress through further cutscenes again. Although I think you can reset the Trials while you're in the middle of it anyway. Yes. Yes, I did, Sephi Roth. I've done the Destruction Sphere treasures for the previous two Trials. Okay, then, here we go. A cloister of because I've got my notes and that to get me through this, or to help anyway. I uh, may not be focusing as much on chat through this bit, but if I get stuck or screw up, I'll make sure to look to you guys for Marty, advice as attention. to what's gone wrong. But hopefully, we are ready. we'll manage. All right, let's do it. Well, wow, that's cool then, Funky. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Game Pass. I'm shocked that Sony haven't competed with it until this recent rumour that they're about to bring out their own form of it. It's really, really, I think, puts the Xbox uh, at a notable advantage over PlayStation. And the fact that you can use it on PC as well, there's a lot of games. Even if you don't own an Xbox, Xbox Game Pass is is uh, a great subscription in my view. Right. So we'll start by plonking both of these into the door. Yeah, it is, isn't it, Dark? It's one of the worst dungeons, if not, like I say, the worst dungeon ever. I'm pretty sure that the Great Crystal exists for one purpose, and that was to sell official strategy guides. This was, like, before the internet was really a big thing. And, yeah, everybody just needed to get the strategy guide to get through that. Oh, okay. It's very different to Final Fantasy XIII. I much prefer Final Fantasy X, if I'm honest, Sashia, to FF13. But... Yeah, I think you'll enjoy it. Just, you know, 
understand that it is different. The gameplay is quite different, not just the story and the characters and what have you. But one thing that Final Fantasy XIII does do better than X is, you know, the voice acting and stuff. Some of the characters were criticised in XIII, but the actual presentation of the dialogue was probably better than it has been here, which might be a little bit uh, disjointing for you. Not disjointing, what's the word? Just a, a little bit weird for you coming from that to this. Uh, right, so what am I doing? So we've got two spheres here. One and two, yep. That's what I want. And I think we want to put them over here. Yeah, so we've got this sort of pattern on the floor. You can see some of it's greyed out and some of it's uh, lit up at the moment. And we need to try and get the whole thing lit up. So I'll make sure I'm not going to screw this up. And over on the left is where that switch was that I mentioned. Which I don't want to use right now. Uh, I don't know if it puts you right back at the start or just resets this room. But there we go. Right, so let's go ahead and grab these. And we're going to put these over on the right hand side. This will put the lights out temporarily. Yes, I've played Bloodstained Ritual of the Night Funky. And it's a lot of fun. I would definitely recommend that for those that like those types of Castlevania experiences. And also, uh, the Ori games are on Game Pass. And they are incredible amounts of fun. So if you've not checked those out, I would highly encourage you to do so. Starting with Ori and the Blind Forest. Uh, just making sure that I haven't messed up. I'm supposed to do both of those. Yep. Okay, now that lights that up. And so we need to push the pedestal over to it. Or underneath it. Hang on, what have I done here? Push the pedestal yet? I don't think I've screwed anything up. I think that's right, it just hasn't done anything. Okay. We'll put this in the door. I believe this is the correct move. Okay. I don't think this is working out as I'm expecting it to. No, there's definitely nothing over there. Yeah, my fault. I was paying too much attention to chat. I don't want to reset it. Just let me try and focus on my notes for a moment. Uh, that I jotted down before. So I put the pedestal over here. I wasn't supposed to do anything with that first, was I? Two recesses, yep. Yeah. Oh, makes sense. Okay, only resets the pedestal, that switch. Yeah, not particularly helpful to us right now. But I think we're okay. I think I'm doing the right thing. Want to put both of these into the pedestal. That should activate the pedestal then, at least. Or not. I suppose it just sort of holds it. I don't get why I seem to be down.
I've messed something up here. Some of these trials do my head in sometimes. Okay. What have I messed up? No, stop doing that. Um, still need two of these in here, do I? Because the roof's gone off. Yeah, need two spheres in the wall, Dad's Platinum. Let's just pointed that out. Thank you. I seem to be missing a sphere, though. Oh, I didn't push it all the way. Is that the flipping problem? Oh, I can't believe that. <laughs> I couldn't get my head around why it wasn't working. Thanks, Elijah, coming in to save the day there. And now that should work, shouldn't it? I can't believe that. There we go. Yeah, I needed to charge. I did everything right except not pushing the flipping pedestal all the way for some reason. Yeah, it just wasn't quite central, was it? <laughs> Honestly, sometimes it's the little things like that just screw you up completely. Uh, let's get rid of this thing now in the next room. I was checking through my notes thinking, have I missed something on my notes that I haven't written down? Because I've done everything that I'd wrote down. But yeah, I just hadn't pushed the pedestal all the way. Right, we'll get that down into the field there. Uh, don't. Oh, no, 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 don't click that. I don't want to reset that just yet. Oh, thanks, Just a Waffle. Yeah, having some fun with Final Fantasy X here. Yeah, another comical moment from Fuzz. Another boomer moment, I think, Dark, eh? Right then, so what was it? I just I stuck the pedestal in the middle. Want to make sure. Okay, yeah, I screwed up. Yeah, you're right, guys. You're right. Another boomer moment there from me. We need the uh, spheres. <laughs> We're getting there, guys. Okay, look. It's live. Anything can happen when it's live. You know, when I'm doing uploads, all of the mistakes get edited out, and you think I'm a really skillful player. Then I do a live stream, and the truth comes out. Yeah, good job we can reset the pedestal. Now we'll try that again. Okay, just forget the last the last attempt of pushing this pedestal down. It actually happened. Hi Diana. How you doing? Good day. We well, I feel like we're making progress now. Slowly but surely. No, no, go back, go back. Right, there's another pedestal over here we need to push around. There we go. Yeah, one of the annoying things with Final Fantasy X, it happens with some of the other Final Fantasies as well. Is that you really have to get some of your, like, where you walk with the main character, the location, pinpoint perfect, in order to actually do what it is you're trying to do. Which can be kind of annoying. Yeah, thanks, Waffle. Yeah, we've just done that bit on our second attempt. So, I think we're making progress here. Don't need to reset now. I'm not sure how the delay... Is affecting things, but some people are saying to reset, but I don't think we need to at the moment. Oh, yeah, we do need to reset. 
I think. Yep, we do. You're right, guys. Yeah, the YouTube delay is really annoying. Yeah, that brings us back to the starting position, but we've got the other pedestal sorted now. Uh, we want to put these over here, do we? I think. Yeah, and the other one. Oh, cheers, Dennis. Yeah, thanks, Elijah. We had to reset. Yeah, it's like a Final Fantasy tradition, isn't it? Have some frustrating packing moments. I guess if we take this one out now. Shuts the door, but we can light this one up. Okay, and that gives us a platform. So we have it, Mr. Destruction Sphere. That comes in part two. This is like a two-part puzzle, this particular set of trials. And now we're on part two. Is there a pedestal here? Or was it just these three? Oh, there is a pedestal there. Okay. There we go. Yeah, we need to push all these into the wall. Uh, we're not going to complete the puzzle just yet. We're doing it to the destruction sphere. That's what we need to do. Yeah, that's the exit to the actual trials. But before we leave, after completing part two, we need to head back down here. And yet, yeah, there's like a glowing thing on the wall, which we can touch. And that will give us our destruction sphere. We're getting there, guys. We're nearly done now. And all we need to do is plonk this into our pedestal. It's not a fantastic reward, to be honest with you. But it's something. We want to get them all. There we go. Magic sphere. And we're done. Yeah, thanks for the tips there, guys. Couple of uh, couple of moments that we won't need to reflect on, I feel. But uh, <laughs> we got there in the we end. Wait here. We wait here. You should try to settle down. Well, well, you again. Still traveling with quite the crowd, I see. <laughs> What is it, Bartello? You know this riffraff? You are. Aren't no. Very true, Waffle. And we've got the yeah. lightning dodging coming hand. up, although I'm not doing it yet. Aaron. Yeah, the lightning dodging no. trophy, guys, is something Sir, that I'm going to be skipping until later. And that's because we guardian. don't have anything with no encounters on yet. <laughs> Thank you, 
sir. This means so much to me. Looking forward to getting Ixion. Calling the personal guardian the Lord Braska Riffraff? We did everything in that trial's red. A summoner? Everything that can be done, we did. Bartello enough. Get back here. Hang in there, buddy. Hey? <laughs> yeah, he's quite funny, Bartello. Like Bit yeah? of a nutter. Not so good on the heart, though. I think we just need to try and leave in order you to advance. Try to settle down. You know we'll be blamed if anything happens. I swear. Please touch me with that hand and I'll remove it. <laughs> I met. Stop pacing around. Speak to Kamari and Jake then spot. we'll head back into the area here, and that should, yep, trigger the next scene. No, no, you don't need to worry about that, Red. You just need to... The only thing you need to do in a cloister of trials is find the destruction sphere and use that to unlock the optional item that you can loot. That's it. That's all you need to do apart from worrying how to find the exit. The world must look different when you're the daughter of Lord Braska. This has nothing to do with my father. I'm traveling on my own. Uh, well, let's just say I've never done it before, DMR, as in actually get the 200 needed to get Luna's Venus sigil thing. So I'm kind of hoping that this is going to be an exception to the fact that I've always given up previously. But Dark Swordsman shared his video in chat showing where you can go, the crater spot, to try and make it a little bit easier and once we've got a no encounters piece of armor I'm hoping we'll we'll have a have a good stab at it Oh okay Sephiroth I didn't realize that that there was kind of an homage to the hymn of the faith in FF7R yeah, it is a it is a nostalgia piece, isn't it? It really is. We're leaving once Yuna gets here. No matter how dark the and our journey. Yeah, this is where we just need to go and speak to Yuna. Cheers, DMR. I've kind of got to get it done on this playthrough. I've put it off too many times in the past, and I want to try and get the platinum trophy for this game. She was working until dawn, healing the wounded, sending the fallen. Okay. I guess I'll just let her sleep for now then. Yeah, it might be a good idea to try it offline and then just upload a video of it. Ah. Morning. What? Morning? Don't worry. But it's morning. The Hedgehog Pie mini game is actually I'm not so too sorry. bad, Red, because you only have to fail a few times. Uh, and the whole thing's Just made easy automatically with no, like, negative repercussions. Don't worry. It's okay. Whereas the lightning dodging, uh, not so much. Right, after this cutscene, I think we can go back to the shop, the inn. And grab that treasure chest that was blocked, if you remember, before Please we did the trials. Me. Really, there's no rush here. Your hair. <laughs> A summoner with bad hair. What's the world coming to? You could have woken me up. Uh, we no, I did, you, Waffle. But with all that yeah, we did. We spoke to him. <gasps> when we first got here. Is it today? Everyone's picking on you. Yay, finally, Rika will be joining us soon. <laughs> And I need to start stealing with Riku, because I need to get the trophy for stealing, I think it's 200 times. Once Lady Yuna fixes her hair, we leave. I never seem to get that funky. I always get, a, I think it's like a piece of armor, but without the no encounters off that boss. I know which one you mean, 
But yeah, there's it one boss that gives you a chance of getting a no encounters down, weapon. It's me. the only one you can get Lapping in the game. And the I never seem to get it, so I always just end up crafting a no encounters armor instead. But I need to try and get it because I think it is technically immiscible since it's the only place to get one. Switch hitter. Bit of a strength boost for Waka, but I'm just going to keep the Stone Touch TKO equipped on him for the time being. Oh, okay. You see over here? They've all moved, have they? Oh, yes. I suppose if you get the ghost captured, Dennis, maybe you can farm for it in the monster arena. Might be a little bit easier. It would still be a rare item, but at least you could just choose the enemy. Okay, Roj. Yeah, is in the temple or down here? With the group by the chocobo on the bridge. Okay. Cheers, Poggy. I'll just... Oh, is it this person? Was it that person that just ran off? Or was it this one here? Oh, Caillou. Okay. But who should I get rid of? Maybe Jasu? Or Botter? Botter? Who do you think I should get rid of, guys? Out of the Besaid Aurochs. We've already got some nice players recruited. Yeah, I've got a decent team. Okay, Poggy says butter. Okay. Since Poggy answered first, we'll go with that choice. Okay, cheers, Elijah. Yeah, there seems to be some kind of agreement on getting rid of Botter there, so. Off so early. Yeah, everybody's saying the same. You must be exhausted after working so hard last night. Yeah, we've got a pretty decent okay? team now, haven't we? I feel that I have rested enough, but. Thank you for your Yeah, kindness. Butter has gone. Will you be leaving His uselessness too? is yes. no more. First we cross the moon flow, and then we head north in search of chocobos to replace those we have lost. Once we find chocobos, our mounted forces will ride again. Huh? Aren't you missing someone? Captain! Get any of the beside Aurochs because they all suck. What took you so Yeah, long? we're replacing them slowly but surely. For sure. <laughs> Oh, okay. You There's probably better than Jasu, though, world? isn't there out there? Lady Yuna, I wish you good fortune. Ah, okay, Red. Elma, Klasko, I don't think I did go. a highlight on my series, but hey, can I, I did use the sense? trick, I think. No complaints. I see, Elijah. I mean, I won't actually be playing much Blitzball. Like I say, until later on, now that we've got Waka's attack reels. Anyway. Where to next? We cross the Moonflow. Gotcha. Moonflow, baby, here we come. Ah, Anika says that Jasu is really good. Yeah, a few people have said he's got a good speed and some strong abilities. They certainly are, Waffle. They certainly are. Okay. As always, we need to chat to individuals on this road. And some will have items for us. Not all of them, as you can see. Not again. Think of it as training. Can we? 
stone touch this thing, or do you think it's immune? Can you stone touch when you're doing another thing like dark attack, for example? I wonder if that'll work. It does! Perfect! And then if stone touch fails, at least you might end up getting like status effects active. Yeah, brother is definitely one of the characters that I want to recruit into our team. Good day, everyone. We can all learn a lesson from what has happened to the Crusaders. Only the truly faithful have a hope of defeating sin. Yeah, I think so, Rog. I think he's like the only one that I'd keep, based on what people are saying in chat. There's like a little... Nook that might have something in it, maybe. Wow, one shot in these Ochus. Not bad at all. Might be a, you know, worth just getting a few of the party members out to get some SP before hitting them with Waka, but nah, I'm not farming right now, as I've said. Let's slice and dice, shall we? Ah, oh, terrible. Okay, I want to try this little trick as well. If I can get the first two on two, and then just run out of time. Okay, there is quite a bit of time, so it it might be worth practicing at some point. But a little trick, I believe it was Scott that shared this earlier, is if you just run out of time here, yep, you automatically get the last two hit, which is the hardest one. And that means you get 12 hits instead of six. So, yeah, that's not too bad. If you get a chance to win Teleport Sphere in Blitzball, take it to customise, evade and counter. Oh, okay, Dennis. Sounds an interesting little strategy there. And Funky says to also farm a few in order to move Kimari and Yuna around. Okay. Hey, Unicorn. Thanks for the, uh, the super chat again. That's very kind of you. Uh, thoughts on 7, 8, and 9. Well, Final Fantasy 7 is my favourite Final Fantasy game. Possibly one of my favourite games of all time. Final Fantasy 9 I really enjoy as well. In fact, Final Fantasy 8 I really enjoy. Uh, but I think 8 is probably the weakest for me. Out of those three. 8 has quite a few issues with it. That you sort of have to overcome. But if you can, there's a lot of fun to be had with it. That's annoying. Be nice to try and get some killing blows there with Tidus. Oh yeah, yeah, Final Fantasy 4. Uh, what's that, Elijah? It takes too long practice. I'm not sure what you're talking of there, mate. Was that the attack reels or something, do you mean? I do dark attack. You can also do sleep attack on this thing. Yeah, it's a nice little trick, but I do need to practice on getting the two slots for sure. But it is a nice trick. That's worth mentioning. Blue. Yeah, Triple Triad, I mentioned Blue. earlier, Just Triple nice. Triad is probably, definitely, what? well, probably at least. It can't be probably, definitely, but probably one of the high points of FF8. It's a lot of fun. You come to insult Kimari. 
wrong. We come to warn. Ah, oh, okay, Elijah. Summoners disappear. Yeah, especially because later on we are going to be spamming Waka's attack reels against some of the bosses and like the monster arena. And we just need to make sure we're getting 12 hits each time manually, don't we? Not fanning about waiting 15 seconds and stuff. Oh, you think Final Fantasy VIII is the best out of that PlayStation trilogy, Lionheart? That's interesting. That is interesting. For me, I think the order would be 7, 9, 8, although I do enjoy 8, so it's not like I hate 8 or something. In fact, my last playthrough of 8 that I did on the channel, live streaming, was the most fun I had with that game. And I think I appreciated it a lot more with that playthrough. Yeah, the only problem, Red Mario, is actually trying to get Lionheart to activate. I don't know if you remember the series that I did when I live streamed that game. We got Lionheart on disc one, and then never saw it until the final boss of the entire game, where we killed the final boss of the entire game with it. That was the only time I got to see it on the playthrough, after getting it on disc one. Yeah, the, the whole random nature just did not agree with me at all. Yeah, it's helping us out a lot, MT. It really is. It really is. We've been quite fortunate with Ochu, I'll be honest with you. Um, I don't want to practice overdrive on this guy. Okay, we didn't send it to sleep. Hmm. Uh, I thought we might have been able to do enough damage to kill it, but that's fine. That's fine. Now it gets turned to stone. Oh, I love that little animation of the shattering of the petrified Ocho. There's something quite satisfying about that. What was the first... Final Fantasy game that you played, Lionheart, out of interest. I know that Tidus isn't great on these, but he might be able to one-shot them. Why are they getting so many attacks off? Nice, get out of here. Ah, okay, Isaiah. So you'd swap 9 and 7 for my order. Yeah. Alright, let's just keep practicing these attack reels. I know that we don't need to rush to use these, but... Oh, flipping wasn't paying attention then. Look, I hate trying to get that last one. I need to really improve at that. Oh, Unicorn, thanks for the super chat again. I thought that 8 sucked due to the draw system, Squall being super boring, and the convoluted story. Uh, thoughts on 13, 14, and 15. Yeah, those are definitely some of the weak points with Final Fantasy VIII. The draw system in particular, I've spoken about this before. I think it was a poor system. I believe that it could have been better, and you still could have had the draw system uh, with a few changes. But, yeah, the way it was implemented with magic basically being items was not a good idea. I think Square recognised that. We've never seen anything like it since. Um, you know, maybe a little change would have gone a long way. I think I said this last time. Where magic wasn't an item per se. But that you could draw it in order to boost its strength. Only you could never then reduce it, if that makes sense. So, this would be character specific. So, for example, if Squall uh, drawed, uh, draw fire magic, then he would get, draw it like you normally would in the current game, but it wouldn't be stocked as an item. It would just increase the power up to a maximum of 100 instead of having 100 stock. Only then when you cast it, it never reduces the amount ever. 
So you only ever need to draw to 100 one time. And once you've done that, you've got it for the rest of the game on that party member. And then you can equip it to your stats. So you get the maximum benefit of the stat boost from having 100 of that spell. But you can still cast it without being penalised. If that makes sense. I think that would have been a much better system. If they wanted to have the draw system. And it would have felt better in terms of progression. Because you fit, you know... By taking time grinding and drawing magics, you'd be boosting the stats of your party members. But you wouldn't be penalised, as I say, for casting those magics. So I think it was almost there, the draw system. But unfortunately, the iteration that it did come with just wasn't that great. I was born in Birmingham, Carl, yes. I haven't lived there for a few years, though, since I was probably about 10 or 11. Right, let's send the Ochu to sleep or petrification land. Okay, sleep or do. Uh, as for 13, 14 and 15, uh, 13, I enjoyed 13 to the most out of the 13 trilogy and Lightning Returns the least out of the 13 trilogy. And as for 14, I haven't played that game enough to really give it the time it deserves. Probably played it for about 50 hours, which it just isn't enough. And 15. I was disappointed with 15, but it did it did get better as time went on. The problem with 15, it was clearly unfinished when it was released. Which is a surprise because it was in development for so long. Please don't kill Waka. Let's try again. This guy does not want to be petrified, and he's dead. Uh, yeah, I should probably use a phoenix down. Okay. Thank you very much. I think we're going to have to get rid of uh, Lulu. I am going to bring other party members in this time, even if not to do much. 4,800. This shouldn't wake it up. So I need to get Lulu out before Waka tries a few more rounds of petrification. My turn. Uh, let's just pray so that Yuna will get some sphere levels. And... Uh, what the heck, let's just bring all on in. Everybody else is getting SP, let's so... See. Or AP. So, why not? Right. Wow, it's just completely unpetrifiable at the moment. I need to hopefully have a little bit more fortune here. But we're not getting it at all. Lulu's almost dead, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, let's just sooner. Yeah, a lot of people have said that. You're not the first that I've heard say that after Final Fantasy X, the games have just gone downhill. Um, I mean, I really enjoyed Final Fantasy XII, especially the Zodiac Age. So, I'm not sure if I prefer FF10 to the Zodiac Age. Or not. But yeah, I can understand people saying it's gone downhill, finally, uh, after 10. But yeah, Final Fantasy 15 had some issues. There's no doubt about that one. I think, every, I think even the fans of that game would say that it had its problems. What am I doing? Oh, yeah, I want to move Lulu back into the party. Get rid of Auron as well. There we go. Oh, right, yes. Good point. We could try Stone Breath as well with Kimari. That might work. Yeah, should we try it? See what happens. 
Oops. This is an area of effect one, so... Kind of feel like it's a little bit wasted on one enemy, but it is an Ochi. <coughs> no, it doesn't actually, Roach. Um, you can use, like, Dark Attack or Sleep Attack and still get the Petrification. We have actually been doing that quite successfully. I'll see if I can get it to work here. Oh, no, I'll just use normal attack then. Sorry about that. Didn't get to show you. So who's next? Farewell. That's how it's done. You think Final Fantasy 16 is coming out next sun uh, summer, Unicorn? I mean, it could be. It could be. We meet again. Oh, crud. You took part in Operation Meehan. You we haven't got a battle here, have we? Aren't the answer. In the end, only summoners can hope to defeat Sin. You are right. I, I can help with that, if you like. I propose a contest of Aeons. A friendly contest, of course. Yeah, that is uh, Final Fantasy. Oh, it's completely Origins, is it? As you wish. I don't know if I'm ready for this fight yet. So, I'm ready any time if you change your mind. What do you guys think? It's against... Is this the one against Ixion? Yeah, Strange to Paradise. That's the one. Yeah. I've seen the trailer for 16. I am looking forward to it. I mean, I, I tend to get fairly hyped for new Final Fantasy games, if I'm honest. So. Yeah, I look forward to it. Uh, the only thing is, I want to be able to save before that fight. Is there a save point close by? I just feel like it's a long way to go back. To save, if that makes sense. Oh, you think, do you, Nathaniel? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just waiting to see if anybody knows if I can go to the save point. Oh, Unicorn, thank you so much for becoming level 3 member. Thank you. Yeah, it's too far away. Yeah, thanks so much for supporting the stream today, Unicorn. It's really kind of you. Um. My, yeah, maybe it's worth just popping back. And just using Yuna a little bit more to level her up. Do you guys think? And then we can escape battles on the way back down here type of thing. Yeah, I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. I know it's a little bit annoying, but... Yeah, it's probably just a bit too far to get to the save point otherwise. Well, that's also annoying... Trying to kill these without Lulu, so I might have to swap her out and then swap her back in before we finish so up. You need someone with magic skills. Yeah, yeah, it's not great, but I don't want to mess up and miss things, so I, I want to try and kill it if we can. I'll just kill the wrong thing then. Should have tried to stone this guy. Um. Okay, we're out of MP. That's more like it. Yeah, so the plan is to just pop back to the save point. Oh, I forgot to bring Yuna back in, did I? What a flipping moron. That's the whole point of going back. Uh, yeah, kill some bad guys. Get some levels for Yuna. And then hopefully we'll be strong enough to take the 
next summon on. Ollie, thank you so much for the super chat. You lot are in very generous moods today. Thank you. Uh, right, we'll kill this thing. Then we'll bring Yuna in. Okay, I think I've got my plan sorted. I think. Oh, and I also, I would like to build uh, build up Yuna's overdrive so that we can do Grand Summon. If that makes sense. Okay, yes. If we turn out you. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna... Okay, good idea then, guys. Right, so we use Ifrit. We get Ifrit's summon up. Um, instead of using Waka. Oh, Ifrit's already at full overdrive, look, guys. I mean, I can't really use it here, so I probably shouldn't have summoned Ifrit. But yeah, having full overdrive's good. We just need to build up Yuna's overdrive. Please. And then we've got double overdrive action. Does that make sense? We can then use Hellfire a couple of times. And maybe that'll be enough to finish it off. Oh, thank you, Holly. Uh, yeah, I need to be careful. I don't want Ifrit to, to get destroyed. <laughs> It's just a very grindy game, Mark. There's a couple of trophies that are difficult. I need to get rid of. I need to get rid of Ifrit here because Ochu has some nasty attacks. Was that on the last fight, Elijah? I'm confused. I didn't want to use the overdrive because I need it for the boss. If that's what you mean. Uh, what am I doing? Yeah, I wanted to try and stone this guy. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to head back to the safe. I'm just trying to get some SP or AP, whatever it's called, on Yuna. And on top of that, if I can get her overdrive built up. What is her overdrive set to right now? Stubic, so she needs to take a bit of damage. Everyone, look sharp. Yeah, I don't need to use the Aeon. But I'm going to keep Yuna in the battle. I can use Fire on Ifrit to heal him. Good point, Funke. Good point. Yeah, I don't... Oh, yeah. Yeah, we could potentially get Veil Fours up as well. Yeah, potentially we could. We're almost there with Yuna. Yeah, she's almost got hers up. I don't think I'm going to worry about Veil Four. I think we'll be there for too long if we try that. But yeah, Energy Blast is a good, good ability for sure. Uh, it would be Yuna to be last to get her overdrive filled up. Typical, as they say. Uh, let's just bring Tida in. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nearly there. Maybe I should just wait. I'm not sure if I have healer yet, unfortunately. How do you get healer? Do you just do a lot of heals? Maybe I just need to be healing more with her. I'm not going to rush to kill this guy. 
I mean, this might do it. Yep. Okay, get Veil Force Overdrive full. Okay. Yeah, on the way back, I'm going to be fleeing for more battles. So I know this is annoying fighting now, but in the long should run, in it should hopefully pay off. Uh, right, I just want Yuna to get her overdrive filled up if we can. See if we can take care of this thing. Yep. Oh yeah, I meant to check, didn't I, if Yuna has the healer overdrive. I don't think she does though. check now. Yeah, it is. And I'm sure some people watching have probably used the turbo speed from the PC version as well. Or I think the Xbox version has it, if I'm not mistaken. But the PlayStation version doesn't, of course. Uh, no, I've only got stoic. Kind of annoying. I didn't realise it was so far back. No problem. Uh, what's wasteful, Elijah? If you've said something that I've missed, then, uh, yeah, that's annoying. Right, unit now has her limit, so that's one thing done. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, I see. I see what you mean. Okay. Right, I'm going to get rid of Yuna for now. I'm not going to be using Grand Summon. I understand now. Is that what you guys were trying to say? I was getting conflicting chat. Still a long way to go. I just feel like we've done so much if we end up screwing up. We've got some SP. All right then, guys. If you guys want me to go without saving, I'm going to risk it. And then we'll just heal up when we get there. Okay, fine. I'm going to go ahead and just give you some stuff here. And then we're going to escape battles. Just because we've been here for so flipping long. It is like a long way, isn't it? This is a huge area. I completely forgot how long this path was. Okay. We got Cedars in the party yet. Just escape these. That won't go so easy on you next time. Otherwise, we could end up being stuck here for ages. Yeah, since there's, like, not a decent reward, no trophy, it really doesn't make much difference, even if we get a game over. Which I'm hoping we won't. Yeah, if it was, like, an important fight, then that'd be different, I suppose, wouldn't it? That won't go so easy on you next time. Yeah, I'm just going to escape battles. I'll be right back. We did get some SP, and we did get the overdrives built up, so that's the main thing. Well, I don't want to waste time, Sephiroth. Since it's not that important, going back to save, I shan't bother. We'll just heal up now before the fight. I'll be right back. Yeah, that's going to be the plan, I think, Roach. I'm going to try it that way. See if that works. I mean, I only need to heal you in here, but whatever. 
I think I need to give her an ether. 75 out of 124. Whatever, we'll just play it safe. Okay, let's do it. I'm ready. That's the spirit. How much HP does this boss have? Okay, we'll use Veil vale 4. And then if Veil vale 4 dies, we can use Elijah, yeah? Uh, Elijah, we can't use Elijah. That'd probably be awesome if we could. Uh, we can use Ifrit. Does anybody know how much HP this thing has? Right, if it actually has full overdrive as well. Oh, uh, did I just summon if it? I'm such an idiot. Oh, well. We've still got Veil 4 if need be. Um, if if it dies, we can summon Veil 4. Is that right? Am I right about that? Yeah, we'll open with Hellfire. <laughs> Don't hold yeah, I was reading Elijah's messages when I said that. Right, so can I dismiss if it and then still use um, Veil for? Is that right? That's what I think you guys have been saying, yeah? Yeah, okay. Ollie says yes, let's do it. No, leave us alone. Yeah, perfect. Okay, Veil 4. And then we've still got the Grand Summon if need be. Although I don't think we can summon uh, either of these again in this fight. Okay, yeah, Veil 4 would have killed it. Yeah, it was, as you know, the intention to summon Veil 4, but that was just a misclick to bring Ifrit out. But didn't want to waste the uh, overdrive since we had Ifrit out. Stop. That is enough. Well, we did it, guys. Bear with me, just gotta do a text. You're good. You bested me fair. Yeah, you can heal if it's you right with fire. Okay, two dragon something and a summoner soul. Oh, uh, we have to use this right away, do we? Oh no, it's just showing us. Yeah, thanks Nathaniel. Yeah, that fight's a lot easier than uh, it could have been. It's probably worth just building up Veil Falls Overdrive and then that's it type of thing, isn't it? Let's just keep practicing with some of our limits here, our overdrives. I can't seem to get that today. Last stream I got everyone perfect. Uh, nah. Just normal attack. Don't think we've used Fury for a while. Time 
The hardest boss is probably... Uh, out of the optional bosses anyway, would probably be Penance, I'd imagine. But some of the Dark Aeons sort of come close as well. I'm on a roll! Right, we got an item down here, have we? Yep, chest. Magic defense for you. What? Right, I just want to get to the next save point now. Oh, nice, Fino. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Have you got an idea of how long that's going to take, or...? Not sure yet. Just just playing the waiting game, is it? Uh, yeah, Lulu is quite slow, isn't she? Uh, Waka is using the TKO, I think it's called. And it has the stone touch ability on it, which is nice. This is the moon flow. Yeah, I'm going to be using Riku a lot. These are moon lilies. They say that clouds of fireflies gather here. When yeah, that's the plan, Waffle. I'm just trying to push forward to get to the save point now. Since we've made quite a bit of progress, haven't we? We've done quite a few enemy battles and... Hey, I got an idea. I just feel like we need to save at this point. Ah, oh, no. for the water boss. Then, once Cheers, we Dennis. Sin, we're coming back. Since we can't stone touch that thing. We can save before the boss, can't we? I hope we can. Yeah, I have played a couple of the Trials games. Go. Uh, trails. Games. Sorry. Actually, only one of them. No. I'm trying to think. I'm sure hey, I have. We better hurry or we'll miss the shoe puff. Shoe puff? If I have, it's been a That's while. Kind of boat? Hmm. Oh, okay, Roach. Yeah, we'll get his... Uh, Limit field because I don't think I have a petrified grenade. Right now, where the flips the uh, save point? I don't know if I've got any lightning weapons. Water strike, fire strike, nope. Oh, we've got lightning, so we've got thunderball, which is good. I won't equip it yet because we need to build up Kimari. The save's coming up perfect. Whoa, what the whoa. Oh, this is weird. Our Wi Fi is down. Uh, I've got my wife just texting me that the Wi-Fi is down. She checks on my phone as well, and it is. Which is strange, because the internet's still up. I'm still streaming. That is weird. I think I'm still streaming. Can you guys see me? It says chat's disconnected. I honestly have no idea. My stream software still says I'm streaming, but I can't see chat. And I need a flipping save point as well. Oh, there it is at last. I don't think so. It's a bad idea, yes. Please, we beg of you. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can hear me. I'm not seeing chat at the moment. This guy won't let our chocobo on the shoe Which is kind of annoying. 
Ah, it is kind of big. It's just not fair. Uh, he does have a point, though. So what? We just leave him behind? Hey, I didn't say that. Just... Yeah, my internet seems to be playing up a little bit. <sighs> it is no good. We will have to find another way. We will find a ford where we can cross on foot. Yes, Captain Sir. But that'll take days. Where the